Today, we're gonna be talking about all the Air Jordan sneakers set to release this month in May. This is a series that I love to do at the beginning of every single month, going over all the shoes. That way you guys have a better understanding on when they're coming out, how much they're gonna be, how hard they're gonna be to get, what the materials are like, and my impressions on the shoe as well. And if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is the DNA show. Hey. On this channel, I love talking about sneakers and especially Air Jordans. So if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the fam. We're very close to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to help get us there. Now let's take it to the first sneaker releasing on May 3rd. And actually it's two different sneakers. And today is May 3rd as we speak, which means these shoes came out this morning. I'm a little late, a couple days late, you guys, I'm sorry. But either way, these are the first two shoes that came out this month. We have the Air Jordan 1 Mid Reptile. This is kind of like a lime green and white pattern very simple when it comes to the two-tone patterning yet a very wild colorway to say the least this is an air jordan one mid i know they came out today i haven't seen them in hand yet but i have a feeling the reptile material probably isn't that nice but again we shall see if we ever see the shoe in hand and if you did pick up this shoe today let me know down below in the comment section how you feel about this sneaker and if you didn't get this shoe and you plan on getting them let me know why you like them so much now taking it to the next shoe on may 3rd we have the air jordan one sp utility these things got a fanny pack on the back side apple bottom jeans boots with the fur and all the other trimmings along with them this is a very interesting sneaker i feel like they definitely look a lot better without the fanny pack on the back side but at the same time i'm just not a fan of this shoe and it was an easy pass for me let me know what you think about these down below as of right now just looking on sneakers app these things sold out retail was 170 bucks when they came out this morning i didn't think that they were going to sell out but apparently enough people wanted them. And I could understand why it's a satin sneaker with the all black upper and it's very universal. You could wear it with a lot of different outfits. I get it. Next up on May 7th, we have the Chili Red Air Jordan 9. Now these right here, I have seen in person. I posted a poll on my Instagram story and this is what the people think about them. Me personally, after seeing this shoe in hand, I just truly didn't feel like making a review about them just because I was kind of underwhelmed and I didn't want to talk too bad about the sneaker. I thought it could have done a lot better than what I saw in person. Now that doesn't mean the shoe is garbage and I just hate it and all those different things, but at the same time, maybe my expectations were just a little too high. I have recently over the past couple weeks heard a lot of people speaking about this shoe, so I'm interested to see how this release goes when this shoe actually drops on May 7th. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Now taking it to May 11th, we have two other key releases that I think are going to be very impactful when it comes to this month, and that's going to be the Air Jordan 1 Bread Mid. I know, Bread Mid, right? But it's for the kids only. And I think there's a lot of cool things that are going on with this shoe on how they go on presenting this sneaker, showing you the black and the red elements and creating that narrative for the young generation of sneakerheads to come and letting them understand why we call these the bread ones. And when it comes to the box and the packaging and everything like that, I feel like if they would have done this as a men's version in an OG high colorway, especially these things would have went crazy and could have easily been a thousand dollar sneaker. Now I get it. Some people are going to say this is corny. It's got all this stuff all over the shoe and everything. But when you take it back to the fundamentals of being a sneakerhead, this is like a great representation of that. So for me, I like the shoe and obviously I can't fit the shoe, but I might consider grabbing these just cause. Let me know how you feel about these down below in the comment section because I'm sure a lot of people have opinions about this shoe. Now for the next one, guaranteed must cop, gotta have it. I had three pairs of the OG version, so I have to get the retro. That's the Midnight Navy Air Jordan 6. Now when it comes to overall images that I see on the internet and I think about the quality of the OG pair from the past. I'm sure the OG pair is going to be a lot nicer when it comes to the thickness of the leather and everything like that. But at the end of the day, straight nostalgia purposes alone and the wearability of the shoe, because the OG pair from the early 2000s definitely falling apart on a lot of people. And that's what happened to me. That's why I had to get rid of my pair. So I'm so excited to be able to grab this pair. And I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up picking up two of these. Also, for those that are new, if you click on the description just below this video, it will have an entire list of all the sneakers set to release this month, the style code numbers, the dates, the retail prices, and everything like that. That way you have a better understanding and you can easily reference that whenever you like throughout this video or anytime throughout the month, just in case if you need that for future reference. Now, taking it to the next shoe, this is definitely gonna be one of the most hyped releases of the month, and that is the Amamanye Air Jordan 2. 
I am in love with this shoe right here. I think these are way better than the Union Air Jordan 2s and I'm excited to try to get my hands on these. I don't have a pair fully locked in yet, but I can say I'm definitely gonna be making my efforts. These definitely have a lot of similarities when it comes to the Air Jordan 1 and the materials that they use on this shoe. This sneaker in particular, I'll probably make a how-to cop video later for you guys in the month. That way you guys have an update on what's going on. Or if you wanna be a part of the private DNA fam community where I give you guys exclusive access to all my tips and tricks on future releases or how to flip sneakers and grow your collection at the same time, this just might be a place for you. We do monthly live meetups with everybody in the group and it's so dope to see the growth of the members in the community. So if you haven't already, check out the link down below in the description. I'll make sure that I have that pinned in the comment section for you as well. That's why I dive deep into everything and I'm sure you'll be able to get a lot of value, not only for me, but everybody else a part of the community as well. Now, let's take it to the next shoe. On May 14th, we have the Air Jordan 11 7210 in the low top version. Now we saw the original 7210 released a little over five years ago and now it is time for us to get a low top version and honestly, I think these are pretty dope. Just based off the looks of the sneaker when it comes to the shots that we see here on the internet, everything looks pretty much identical when it comes to these in the original high top pair. Obviously, you're gonna have the differences when it comes to the Jumpman on the ankle, but besides that, again, I think this shoe is really nice and low key, I think I wanna add these to my collection. Let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. I feel like a lot of people could be hit or miss when it comes to this shoe in particular, but I'm excited to see your comments about this one. Next up, we have a sneaker that I feel like is going to get a lot of customization, and that's gonna be a simple switch on the midsole color, and that's gonna be the Mocha Air, oh, my bad, my bad, the Neapolitan Air Jordan 3. As you can see, these look very similar to the Mocha Air Jordan 3s. This is going to be a women's version inspired by the the Neapolitan ice cream that Michael Jordan was licking at some point in his career because they decided to make some story around that and then release the shoe for women or something. I don't know, we can just run with that. But either way, these things look very close to the Mocha 3s. And I think because of the value of the Mocha 3s and the fact that people are gonna have a second chance at it, even though it's not technically the Mocha 3s and you could make a slight little tweak to it, at the end of the day, I feel like a lot of people are gonna wanna get their hands on these. So this is yet another sneaker that I'm very interested to hear your opinions about. So again, drop a comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the Neapolitan 3s. Next up on May 15th, we have an Air Jordan 6, but this is going to be in a kid's version. And I feel like this is very interesting because we saw something similar to this in a men's version, and that is the Wash Denim Air Jordan 6. Now we all remember when the Denim 6s came out a few years ago and everybody said they should have been the Levi's, but they weren't, and I even ended up making my own custom version of that. If you wanna see that video, I'll have that link for you guys down below, just below this pair right here on the list and everything like that. But either way, this shoe right here is definitely very interesting because now it's the Wash Denim version compared to the previous version, which is the Denim version, and everybody kinda did their own customization on it. This one's not fully denim out it does have some white panels on it so i'm interested to see what people think about this whether it may be women that have a smaller foot size and can wear this shoe or if it's just for kids and kids only want to have these or whatever i don't know me personally being an air jordan 6 fan i'm not truly a fan of this sneaker and if i were to have kids that were able to fit this shoe i'm not i don't think i would buy them for them now don't get me wrong if my kid asked for the shoe and they told me they really liked them i'd still get them for them because you know what i'm saying they buy what you like well i guess i buy what they like but you you get what i'm saying I, i'll get it for them now going to May 20th, we have the Air Jordan 5 Low Clot. Now, I've talked about these in the past. They were supposed to get released. I don't know, remember what time it was, but basically the shoe was supposed to already release and then apparently it keeps getting pushed back or something and not too many people are talking about it. So now it says they're gonna be releasing on the 20th of this month. So we shall see if the shoe drops. I think this shoe is interesting. I think it's cool. I don't think I would go crazy over it. I'm, the retail price is around 200 bucks, so I don't know how I feel about that. But with it being a collab and the different materials and the other additions to the, you know, the tags and all the stuff on the laces and the box and the presentation, I understand why it's that high. At the same time though, not everybody's gonna be able to justify that price or even want to spend that price. So let me know what you think about that retail price on this sneaker. And if you're willing to spend that price and if you think these would actually even be worth more than that price, because sometimes collaborations like this, especially with it being a low top and an Air Jordan 5 right now, Air Jordan 5s aren't really popping right now. So I could see why people would be like, you know, I don't wanna spend anything more than 180 or 200 bucks, maybe 225 max. So I'm interested to see what you guys think about spending on this shoe. All right, you guys, we got four shoes left and I'm telling 
telling you right now, I think a lot of people are interested in all four of these and I'm excited low key to grab three of these four. So let's take it to the next one. And that is the black military Air Jordan 4. This essentially is gonna be the same color blocking as the military blue Air Jordan 4, but in a black version. And honestly, I think a lot of people are going to love this shoe. Not only because Air Jordan 4s are popping right now, but this shoe can literally go with so many different outfits. It's summertime is coming right now and you can wear these in the fall or the winter time as well. I think this is gonna be a shoe that people grab it. They're gonna be like, oh, I'm glad I got it. I got it for retail. Oh, it wasn't hidden for two. Oh, maybe it is kind of hidden for some money right now. And then a little bit more time goes by and next thing you know, you're like, bruh, I could have got those and I was sleeping. I should have grabbed them again because I didn't want to pay too much and I was being bougie. Next thing you know, the shoe's $550 and I had a chance to grab them for $250 and I didn't want to pay the extra. Day. That's just kind of the scenario that I'm thinking is going to happen, but we'll see when the time comes and how things unfold and we might be able to reference back to this video and see if my predictions are correct. And obviously, I'm definitely going to be getting these and adding these to the collection and giving you guys a full review and another comprehensive analysis. But anyways, let's take it to the next shoe. And that is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Heritage. These are set to release May 24th, retail 170 bucks. And I'm telling you right now, man, this is going to be a very interesting one. The resale price has not been too high over the retail value. These are hitting for just over 200 bucks. And you know, everybody's got their thing about the Travis highs and the white and the blue and to say those weren't as dope. And then this is just a mirroring image of those, but just in a red version. And why they don't like them as much because it has so much white on the shoe and it's just doesn't really hit as well. And they would have preferred something. I don't know. You, you get where I'm going right here. There's going to be a lot of conversation about this shoe. And I think if you like this shoe, you should have a good chance of grabbing this shoe. This is a sneaker that I'm interested in. I don't want to say that it's a top sneaker of mine or anything like that, but I definitely would like to grab these if I can get them for retail and then make my decision. Cause I always feel like if you can grab a shoe for retail and then make your decision, whether it may be returning it back to the store or potentially flipping it for a couple bucks, making it, you know, 30 or 40 bucks or selling it to the homie and hooking them up and not making nothing off of it, you know, making somebody's day, whatever it may be. I feel like it's always better to get the shoe first, make the decision second, and then go from there. Cause sometimes you make the decision and you can't, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of rambling off right now, but you, you get what I'm saying. Next up on May 26th, we have the Easter Air Jordan 5. And honestly, these things are low key pretty solid. I ain't gonna lie. If this was like some crazy rare limited PE exclusive, like women's WNBA player exclusive sneaker or something, it could easily be a $2,500 or a $3,000 shoe. And for those reasons, I understand why people would like this shoe because low key, this is kind of like an interesting sample that did come to life that I'm interested to see in person just based off of the materials and everything like that. Again, for me, I don't even think they're going to make this shoe in my size. So I don't really have the option to even say like, oh, I want to grab these. I'm a men's size 13, which means I need a 14 and a half in women's. And they don't typically make them in my size. They usually go up to like a 12 in women's or something like that. So I'm always like on the struggle bus with that, but I get it. You know, let the ladies have their kicks. Definitely a dope shoe, a solid shoe. And uh, I'm going to give my appreciation and respect to this sneaker. But this next one, oh, this next one right here. Yeah, <laughs> I love low-key need two of this next one. On May 27th, we have the Green Bean Air Jordan 5. Oh my gosh. High school memories, so nostalgic. I remember rocking these back in the day and I had a pair sitting on ice and then I was scared to wear them and my other pair started to crack and crack. And then, oh yes, I'm so glad these are coming back. The burgundies, the olives, the green beans, the grapes, the stealths, the fire reds with the black tongue. That was just a great era of a lot of dope Air Jordan 5s. So yes, I'm excited to see these come back. And this is definitely a shoe that I need for the toe and for the stocks or whatever you want to call it, rock and stock all the different stuff. I need at least one pair, but hopefully I can get two. So those are my thoughts and opinions about all the sneakers set to come out this month. And I kind of realized as I was, uh, you know, just speaking throughout this video, the energy level started to get a little bit higher at the end. I got a little bit more comfortable on the camera. I feel, I feel like I was kind of missing my, missing my mojo a little bit, but you know, I got it back by the end. So I appreciate you guys as always. I'll see you in another one. If you want to see another episode like this again, it will always be at the beginning of every single month. I'll try to make sure I get it out as soon as possible. I've been extremely busy. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all another one. All right, y'all. Come on. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind 
that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry, if you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know if you could only get one shoe from this month's releases, what would it be? For me, I might go with the Ama 2 because those are pretty fire. And I got the ones and the threes, so I gotta complete the set. But I ain't gonna lie. The midnight sixes, I gotta rock with the midnight sixes, bro. I just love me some sixes. I gotta go with those.